Ooh, that's nice. Have a little bit of bleed through, which is fine and good. But guess what? We have a seam. We, or we don't have a seam, I should say. Sorry. That means it will hold vacuum. Morning. Um, I'm gonna get started on some composites so that way I can jump back and forth between things while the composites dry. So today's project, NV8 stuff, at least today's composite project. So what I'm doing here, this is the front fender. Basically, the first car, uh, you can kind of see the mirror shape there. So that part would get bonded to this part as far as the carbon goes. So what I'm doing now, and this is very difficult with infusion, but I'm going to prep these to where this mold will bolt to that mold so that I can make the part in one piece. Uh, the difficult part is, is that I have to be able to get things in there when it's clamped tight. I mean, you can't fit your hand even in there. So it's going to take some creativity to make it work. And uh, I'm going to try to kind of document that. <clears throat> if it doesn't work, well, we tried and I have some other ideas for the scrap of that, but I'm not too worried about it not working. I think it'll be fine. See, it's very tight up in there. So, but on a plus note, I mean, the molds are mirrors of each other, so they will bolt together and then those will be sealed with some, uh, some infusion tape. So, uh, yeah, so next what I have to do, I have to build up a, build up a flange right there. That way, the one they bolt together and seal, and two, it won't flex when it gets under vacuum. So, got a little bit of prep to do. Got to get some mold release down, and then I can uh, start laying fiberglass. Oh, before I do all the prep stuff, I have to uh, make sure I have it placed properly. Yeah, it's got a bunch of dust on it. And then uh, drill the holes that I'm going to use to bolt it on everything. So. I get the holes drilled. Also, you can see I've kind of roughly outlined where the cutout will be. So what I'll do is leave an extra couple inches in the part or just the whole thing. And that way that'll serve as uh, good material that'll be left on after trim. So from here, build the flange up right here. And then the bag will be uh, <clears throat> sealed to the inside of this all the way down and around. So it's gonna be a fun one. But uh, the benefit will be that it'll be a one piece fender. So uh, car one was two piece and it, it came apart a couple times. And I'm just riveting it together, which is not what you wanna see on a potential half million dollar car. are now one look at this I can actually almost reach up in there so this will probably work really well so uh, I don't know if I mentioned that but over here oh you're gonna I haven't posted this online yet because it's about as redneck as it gets but look at this it's like a real-life model of a car Actually, I have no room to put the parts anywhere else. So, literal, literal meaning the shade tree mechanic. Well, shade tree car builder. So anyway, 
as of now, they, these are old uh, scrap parts. So, but I'm using them for measurements. As of now, the fenders only go to about there. They, they go forward. So I have to extend that inner fender piece so it actually goes the length of this. That way, this will fully support the fender. So that's, uh, that's what's next. And then how I'm gonna do that is I basically have to lay a part. Um, I have to make a dummy part using the inside of this mold so I can kind of fasten it to here and then I'll overlay and extend the mold back to here and that way it's uh, pretty and stuff. Since I don't have this, I don't know, uh, you know, Sebastian and I designed the car five years ago via Facebook Messenger, so, and he's in Switzerland. So I'm sure some things were lost in translation somewhere, probably due to my, me my measuring skills. So, so we're gonna start with that. And then I have to build up flanges down here. And then I have to build this flange out to here as well. Basically this one's first. I gotta get this one all the way up here. And then to wrap up, I gotta build this flange to match the whole thing. And then how I'm gonna seal it is I just use a little bit of uh, tape, uh, bag tape between the seams on the insides of the bolts. So that way it'll serve two purposes. It'll keep the whole thing from filling up and obviously it'll uh, serve as a uh, vacuum seal. So a little more room in here than I thought. So that's nothing but good news. But otherwise, yeah, the molds, they're, uh, I mean, they're mirror image, thankfully. So my plan is working. So it's gonna be a little bit more work than I, uh, you know, thought, I guess, but it's gonna end up being that much better of a product. So, which is what the second NV8 is all about. Got PVA sprayed on that, it's ready to go. And oops, I got started on this. that down it'll be really built up pretty thick um yes that'll uh give us the uh oh male shapes so we can extend i don't even know yes yeah, so we can extend exactly where that's at basically uh straight that way and then we'll uh get some tool gel and prep that so we're basically gonna wherever the black is at it's gonna become new mold and then I've got it taped on the inside, just to kind of help hold it. So, uh, tool gel's next. We've got a few layers down, I've got Benoit helping. Uh, you go that way, I guess. So we do that for a lot. We got it all done. Now we're just gonna uh, let it let it do its thing. This appears to be about done. It's still kind of tacky. I'll give it a few more minutes, and then I'll pop it off. Oh, and then on this, last time I pulled apart it broke the flange so we had to build the way to redo the flange and then we shortened it because we have new side pods that are different this time around so we're just gonna pop this off see if they can do it without using a knob uh, but it's good oh no it got underneath it it's probably a good thing because it's still wet so we can pull it off yeah look at that yeah. So now we got that shape. We can use this piece. We use this piece to extend it, and then we build this mold up in the same basically like that, in the same fashion as with that. All right. So that cured enough to where we're now extending the mold. Ooh.
I like it a lot. Good idea. Here, we should use the chair. No chair, this is fine. It's adjustable. A little more. Get this one real heavy, get it packed on really good, and then from here they'll go easy. We can go more on the next one. Rinse, repeat. We're gonna do probably five layers on this. So this is done now. We'll have to kind of cut out the uh, C clamp and whatnot, but it's built up pretty thick. So that's gonna do the trick. And then this. Ooh, that's ready to pop. So I think I'm gonna give it, the, I'll just leave this here till later today, maybe even tonight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's already cold. When it's cold, it's pretty much done. A little bit warm there, so we'll let it go. And then we'll... All right. It's pretty much uh, done. It's cold to the touch, so. Ooh, that's nice. Have a little bit of bleed through, which is fine and good. But guess what? We have a seam. We, or we don't have a seam, I should say. Sorry. That means it will hold vacuum. Boom. Look at that. Look at that extended beauty. The TVA just peels up. Because this is off the part, I don't have to do any real touch up work. Uh, I don't care what it looks like when I cut it off. But what I care about is that it holds vacuum and it's going to. So, great success. And then this is, we did a little Pure Michigan touch on this. It's a part of it. <laughs> but this is, uh, it's not, not drawing heat yet. It'll kick, it'll kick shortly. All right, we got this here. I think it moved, but only thinks it moved, but no, he thinks it's fine. I think it moved. Looks good. So there we are. Continue the line. Whoosh. Obviously, we got to touch up. We don't have to worry about. Oh, we got to blend that because that's on the part. But that's not too bad. It looks like it's sealed really well. And then is it flat? Oh, it carries the arch perfectly. Oh yeah, we do got to do. I don't have to do a whole lot. Yeah, we'll have to do a little bit of blind right there, but that's not not bad. Good job. Sweet. So I'm going to trim that. It's actually still kind of warm. So I'll trim that and then uh, do the last step. All right, so I've got it all bolted together, trimmed. You can see uh, the new flange we added here. So then what I have to do, yep, it's all sealed in there now. So now what I have to do is add a flange, an angle flange right here, all the way across. Then I can add some more bolts. So that's what we're gonna get done before the end of the night here. But um, <clears throat> you can see back here, a little bit off on the line, but Back here is excess, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think we've got what we need enough excess to make it look right. So, pretty pumped with it. It should be fine. So, uh, the curve is a little bit off basically because I had no 
none of this side. It basically had nothing to go on. So, uh, but that that'll get us going. Day two. Great success. Got the nice L flange added. This way we can bolt it down. It'll hold it while it infuses and it'll hold vacuum. Got some tape behind there. That way we know it's good. So got a lot done today. I uh, got other work done too, because it's, you know, 20 minutes of work and an hour of waiting. So we'll do this with the other one. And uh, well, I think next we're going to make a part. So that'll be fun. Get to see the first uh, one piece fender. So, oh, and then once I know it works, then we'll do the other one. Here we are the next day. Flange is done. So I'm gonna pop this apart and check out the surfaces and all that good stuff. But it looks like it bonded really well at the flange, so it'll hold vacuum. Another great success. So here's the flange that we added. You can see it's got a nice seal. You can even transfer that little bobble so that'll kind of help it light it all. And it is stiff, so we are good. So, last couple bolts in for. So, uh, drill a couple holes through here for bolts. And, uh, ready to make some carbon. We'll cover that process in the next video.